Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Oh, oh. To episode 87. 87 of them shangs, of baby. The sports you, you podcast. You got Rob on the mic here, of course, always to my left, your right. Big grip, yeah. big gift, drip big tin gift. from his walk. Got Big Stevie in the cut. Oh, I should do the cut. I'm trying to figure out one for him. Hi, Keith. We got to get a new sound for Stevie. I got to get a new sound board because uh, boom, there's boom, been boom. 87 of them things, and I think we've probably added like one or two the whole time. We probably added like two or three yeah but welcome to the sports you podcast where we read you the sports news and you listen to our stupid ass opinions we of course are back yeah. with the sports you crew having another one of those uh going through the highlights of this past couple weeks yep uh we're back after a little hiatus one week hiatus <laughs> nothing too extra but stop it Get some help. We're going to need some help in this one here to get us through this episode because it's been dry as Work. fuck. It's been crazy dry, man. Hey. But shit yeah, has happened. Yeah. Shit has things. happened. Yeah. Let's start yeah. off with the first one here that I like to bring up. And we've been talking about it for a while. Mm. But DeAndre Ayton mm -hmm. was signed to, I think it was a max sheet of 133 mil over four years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was actually. And yeah. that was with the Pacers. Well, and then eventually, yeah, the I think it was like six it. hours or something like that. They matched it. was it. the same day. They matched it. it. Yeah. So, with that being said, how, do you feel like it's awkward in that in that uh, locker room now? Like, do you feel like it breaks it up just in the slightest bit? Like, they won't be the same type of... Would, would they be able to break their own franchise record, I guess, next year? Does it break it up? Nah. Is it awkward? Yeah, because what the fuck did you do that for then? Like, if you weren't asking for, like, 75, 180, and all you wanted was 133, what, no, did, you, what did you do nah, all that well, for? Well, that was the max that he can get from somebody well, else. Yeah, yeah, nah. I, well, it, it, that's what, bro, that's your max somewhere else? Mm -hmm. And like, you got the audacity to fucking ask us for 150? Hundred seventy. Yeah, because he and you set up for that. Relax, like I I, I hear you. You get what I'm saying, though. I hear you, but okay. When I, but I have like a, I have my own theory. What, what 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 are you talking about, bro? I think this whole like the way this played out is pretty much what they wanted in the end of the day. Consider like mm, it's how lost. it went, how they wanted. Yeah. Considering they ended up keeping him, and that's how it's going to be moving forward. Mm. Because, like you said, the demands of 180 we don't like hey, we yeah. all of us believed he was demanding for more than what we thought he was worth we all believe that i did for sure i for sure thought that for sure so they didn't want to pay him that so at the end of the day his only other option was all right go seek out some other options and see when because he's a restricted free agent yeah. then they are off the hook because then for one, the other teams can't go as high with the max number as they can. And two, then, like, they'll probably give a more realistic number to him for what his value is, like, to begin with, too. Mm -hmm. Like so. Well, well for me, yeah. how I see it is is that he was asking for a lot. Uh, I think it was uh, 100 and. 80 mil or something like that. If he was, I wouldn't have done that either. So, And uh, I think they offered him a max contract for like three years, but he wanted the full five or four. So he was arguing about a year or even two years, I think. I forget what the uh, original report was. I know was. the numbers were definitely not in agreement for sure. The numbers, no. And that's where the, well, the, the whole part, I think the whole part about it was is that he wanted that extra year, which of course gave him an extra like 30 years. Close to 30 mil. Yeah. Right. So, um, I think the Suns just want it all. I think you're right in that aspect. They had yeah. all the leverage. They can match yeah. whatever offer he gets off the table. And it just kind of shows, hey, like, we can take care of you. But uh, maybe he kind of seen it. Well, maybe he's yeah, seen facts. it they, earlier. Hey, hey, hold hey, up, hold up, hold up. Shook, but, bro. but seriously, though, like, think about it. He was already causing fits, like, at the end yeah. of the yeah. year. Yep. So, maybe he already he knew what they were before. doing to him. And he's just like, all right, like, kind of, <clears throat> this is already disrespectful, and he's already causing rifts. He basically has to get over it now. This is a long-term deal. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't see him yeah. growing as much as what he already is. Like, 
We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just I overall think agree. that he just needs to be more aggressive. I kind of agree because, like, because of what we've said about him and his motor as a player, realistically, like him not always being there when you need him. Yeah, I'm not saying he can't have good games, but it's like, bro, there were games where, okay, yeah, maybe everyone else didn't have it, but it's like, they're like at the end of the day, they still expect you to be a at least a top three guy, bro. So. If Chris Paul or Devin is not there, they're looking at you. Not Mikael Bridges, not Cam Johnson, not none of these other guys. It's DeAndre Ayton. And on top of that, you're number one pick. You're a seven-footer, bro. You you are very talented, but if you're not trying to do anything with that, that's on you, bro. Well, I don't think that – I don't think it's just him. I think, like – it sucks that you had to have two people that were that are very ball dominant. Isn't it kind and of you're usually the last option not, in in the scoring? I mean, isn't it on him at this point though? I can't. I, I'm not giving him that pass because Chris Paul is a great point guard. We all understand that. Okay, maybe De- maybe you can say that with Devin Booker, but he's all not right. a point guard. So this Cam is Cam Johnson also distributes the ball. So this at, is what not I, Cam Johnson campaign. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I had to say, like to kind of like follow it up, and then you guys can kind of follow it. With however you guys want to deal, but so he, let's just go back to last postseason and his run all the way until like game two after, like basically game two of the finals. Yeah, he had a really great run. Mm-hmm. One that it was like kind of like his kind of like how Jason Tatum had well, his run. It was because of year. his. It was I mean it, it was, was like DeAndre numbers, and that well his numbers and that were pretty high. Yeah, and like it, field goal percentage. They're not in the same that. tier. Yeah. Like Jason Tatum was definitely in a, in a in a different tier. Yeah, but I'm saying it's the for same him, kind of coming bro. out party. He was efficiency. having crazy efficiency. It was a combination bro. of a lot of different yeah. things. He could he rebounded. He blocked very well. Yeah, he dealt with uh, a couple of uh, big name players at the end. I think he even had to deal with Jokic. Jokic gave him some flowers uh, during press yeah, conferences. So there's a lot of different things that came with DeAndre Ayton that is good. Um, I just think that his aggressiveness needs to be definitely more prominent, especially yeah. when a Chris Paul – and he had his chance, right? So he so he fell off in the, after game two of the finals, I would say. And yeah. then in this postseason, didn't do anything. Didn't do and then also his, uh, uh, his statistics went down in the regular season. So overall, it wasn't a good season, and uh, it kept on trending downward after that game. Uh, but hopefully he can just tail in back into those first two games and uh, – before that in that last postseason because that, that was definitely one that yeah. it felt like he could be the next best thing on a, yeah. on a team that has a good, lot of good things around him. Yeah. I mean, I guess the main things for him is just going to be expanding his offensive game and giving more of a threat than the around-the-rim baskets, get more of a consistent jump shot. I mean, he's he hit some jump shots these like now, but like more consistent if he can shoot a three, bro. I mean, I'm not saying he has to shoot a three, but if he learns to shoot a three, that, like, will be pretty interesting. That could be interesting for them. I don't think a three is necessary for DeAndre. I don't either. I think I'm it's always saying, nice to have, have but a jumper, no. Though. That's sure. what I'm saying. I'd rather him be get better on defense, and he has the potential to do that as well. I feel like the defense is more like his motor, though. The defense, yeah, the defense is kind of <laughs> not pivot. not that he can't. I yeah. feel like that's all his motor. The bro. defense, Get is, in. what's up? All right, uh, I'm sorry. You looks. Like, it sounds like you want to finish it off with something. Go ahead. Uh, I was just, mainly I was just gonna say like the defense is kind of giving. You know, he's not that big for no reason. He's been pretty much playing that position, center position, his whole life. So like it's yeah. second nature when it comes to him. But yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Go go get a bag, bro. Go get a little mid range jumper. At least learn how to shoot a three, like you guys were saying. Get more um, creative off the uh, dribble. I don't think get so. more creative I'm offensive. You. Off that, the dribble, I don't think be. so. Either. I mean, not, not even so, not, not, not even to necessarily dribble, for like, shots, bro, bro. Just like anything, handling the ball, being able to move around. Or even he doesn't like, always dribble the or ball. Or even like, like, bro, fifteen footers and up. Learn how to shoot yeah. those. Yeah, I, I I'm get okay that part. With that. Not threes though. I'm just saying not threes in my. In I'm just my saying if Lamarcus Aldridge can shoot a three, you can shoot one too. Yeah, yeah, but Lamarcus Aldridge went to the threes because he couldn't do anything athletically. Well, okay. shit. What's but, the difference? But why is it? Why? Why are you saying? <laughs> he does way more. Okay, but why is a three? What he's doing at the end. But the three can only help him even if he's athletically gifted. I'm just too, saying bro. it's not going to solve it. And if this guy's trading saying his shot, I mean, shot DeAndre Ayton is athletically. So what is it going to do for him? 
it gives him more of a threat as on the with the ball. Yeah, bro. so it helps him. You right? have to I guard. That part. You have to look at like it gives nah, the team I'm, more. I'm just saying that that shouldn't be a priority for him. I'm not saying it is. When, when, I'm saying the jump shot overall is if he has a three, yeah, he has you, a three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One thing though, you're calling him athletic. More athletic than Lamarcus Aldridge is. Oh, okay, for sure. Yeah, I get yeah, it. He definitely, <laughs> yeah, he definitely. Yeah. Well, Lamarcus Aldridge used to run like a like a big girl yeah. on the track, bro. Right? Lamarcus, oh. Lamarcus Aldridge was never really the most athletic. Facts. Big okay. Time, bro. Yeah. He was. He he was always like just a finesse ass guy, bro. Yeah. But let's get into the next from, one though. From one contender to another, uh, I'm gonna jump into this James Harden one. Okay. The 76ers cool. agreed to a two year, sixty eight point six million dollar. Uh, deal with a player option for James Harden. So, we've been talking a lot of drama on this man. A lot of drama on the team. <clears throat> Yet, yeah. he did the opposite this time. Good. Gives him some more money. Because he had to. Still takes a good amount of money. He didn't have to. He but... had to. Maybe he puts this narrative he on it. He to. Because. He was going to get 100 mil. He's, he wasn't going to get what people thought he was going to get anyway. I feel like if he performed in a certain type of way, he would have forced them to pay him that. That's exactly why he got this. But because of what he did now, I'm sure Gittin isn't far away from the truth when it comes to like him putting out these comments to make him more of a hero in this aspect. Well, we already read out what his playoff stats ended up like, bro. There wasn't no uh, starting point guard numbers I would be giving $250 million for, straight up. Hey, and he can re-sign for a deal right after this year, too. So, I mean, it's not like he gave, you know, four years of his actual career into him. He gave him one year. I think he's just playing it safe for himself, though. Yeah. I think, it's a, lot, I, I think ham, it's a huge risk. Especially with his hamstring. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the risk for the Sixers, it's, it's, not it's, James. No, yeah. It's both, it's, 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 it's all, no, it's both for sure. High risk, high reward. Because if James Harden is healthy sides. all year... Fuck, all right, we got a solid chance. But then 30 games into the season, we know that hamstring might give out on him. That's why he took a lesser deal but still got a bag, bro. No, I feel it, but that's why I'm saying it's high risk, high reward on both sides. James ain't losing nothing, bro. Well, the player never loses anything, but, like, it's... I mean, he's going to take some licks. Both teams are he's taking He's going to take chance, some though. licks because people going to talk about him, but yeah. I don't think he's losing anything by just getting his okay, money. Okay, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about when I say that he might lose something. He could have got more money, longer years, somewhere else. A lot of people would have paid for James I mean, Harden. Yeah. So there's going to be a sucker out there. There's 30 fucking teens, or 29 teens, after this one, that... Most Somebody likely will want you wouldn't James got, Harden. I mean, you're right, but it wouldn't have been able to be the five year Supermax shit. No, nah, definitely. Okay, maybe not, not even. Let's yeah. just say not even that, right? But it is a longer deal, more dollars. Do you think? So well, that's his risk. Okay, that's where so he can lose. So you're saying you think um, free agency he would have got a better deal than this? Oh, of course. So you know how KD was taking like them one years thirty million when he was yeah. in Golden State. Yeah. James Harden would have got that somewhere else. For sure. I mean, this is essentially what he got, but in two years. No, no, I agree with you, but I'm just saying, like, both sides are kind of taking a risk here. James is not e- risking shit. I don't even really understand it either. I feel like it's James what, like, doesn't a- have to be a free agent. He's secure. He's getting money. He's like realistically, he's. I don't see what James is. Ri- what is James risking? Please tell me. The his I already I already reputation. said. For sure, cause now that shit's been it's no, nah, but no, 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 like, no, 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 no. Nah, but this year now, <laughs> no, nah, but this risk. year now it's like, all right, bro, you got to do some. Like you talking all that shit. Oh, I'm gonna take lesser money because I want the team to get better. I want the team to get better. I want guys to play around me and Joel. All right, hey, cool. Man. You did everything you said you wanted I'm to do. Now you gotta put something up. Hey, but nah, bro. but it, but his it, reputation is what yeah it is. It, exactly because if he continues to do it's not well, like he's a third year player. If bro. he <laughs> if he loses again in the playoffs, that's his reputation beforehand. <laughs> So bless you. Him so, winning uh, this one time is gonna and, mean he won this one time. It doesn't all the way change the narrative. It means he finally broke through. I mean, even if he finally breaks through, it's, it, well, it's I mean, Joel Embiid's thing. Yeah, yeah, mm, okay, yeah. yeah. You're that right. part. But for but for this part, I'm just saying, and as a deal as a whole, the 
76ers are taking a chance on him when it comes to the two-year option because you're literally if he doesn't well yeah i agree with the 76ers being putting in a bigger risk in this one i feel like james is not really risking much i think he i'm I, saying I, mean, I, I get you on that they're part, both but... taking risks and i agree with you that one possibly outweighs another <laughs> but they're both definitely taking risks on this yeah <laughs> especially with james harden's track record right now in uh injury wise that's There's not even a market out there for Kevin Durant, so it's not that there's a market. That, you know what I'm talking no, about. It was the Nets. No, yeah, that, <laughs> is that the, the Nets. Nets is the same Nets shot much. their own selves. The same up, way, fuck, bro, you know, that's we'll, their we'll, fault. We'll, we'll get into them in a second. But uh, is everybody is everybody done with that one? Yeah, we're good. Which one I are you gonna bring up now? Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Your man on, on track to be fully cleared by mid-August. But did you see what happened today? They gave him permission to request a trade to another destination. Mm-hmm. Uh, Man, is it over? Is it over? Is it over in San Fran, Took Stevie? Fucking four years. You think he's Wait, done? Do I think Jimmy's done do out I, there? You think Jimmy's done out there? I mean, you think they're going full Trey Lance now? Realistically, I mean, I believe they might. Yeah, because oh. there's yeah, because there's realistically there's no point in. Dang, Jimmy G, if this is what you drafted him for, you picked him third. He sat last year. Okay. No more, like, it's time to get the training wheels off. Because True. at this point, you got to see, you got to see, because you're going to wait till the third year to see he's not there, and then you're going to have to pay him or whatever, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, they got to they gotta put him out there now. And on top of mm-hmm. that, like, Jimmy's going to be either in a spot where he can either stay and be the backup or it's like, yeah, get the fuck on and see what you see what you can get out here, okay. bro. I guess my, my thing would be like, if it helps keep Debo, get the fuck out of here, Jimmy. But yeah. if Debo well, I mean, still wants out yeah, for sure. and, and, and Jimmy stays, I guess rocking out with Jimmy his last year and then maybe trying, you know, Swap them out or mm. run some different type of you know rotation between the two, mm. but I, my I, all I'm trying to say if it helps keep Debo with playing Trey Lance, go for it. Get it, get out, Jimmy. I hear you, but I think if it doesn't help keep Debo, I say throw Trey Lance out there even more, bro. Mm. Yeah. I I don't know. I think I think that they're making the right decision. I hope that they continue to go with Trey Lance. He needs to just be out there already. They have yeah. really nice. Um, team, really nice corn. The only way to to continue to get better or is to have the experience <clears throat> and the real experience, not some in practice. Now, when it comes to Garoppolo, I'm really surprised that these guys just continue to want to get rid of him and that not bad. do it. <laughs> and not yeah. do it though. And uh, I mean, they said that the market was ruined because of his uh, injury, but ultimately, uh, still Jimmy Garoppolo. He always has um, an injury though. There's uh, yeah, that, that I mean, does Jimmy happen Garoppolo too. Was, was just mid, bro. But if he goes on, <laughs> like they were um, trying to keep him over time, a good bro. amount. <laughs> that nigga's hangman. If he goes on a good amount of teams, uh, I feel like that can bring him into, you know, like Super Bowl contention in certain ways. Nigga, Jimmy uh, G is yeah. scarecrow. What, what, yeah, facts. what would you say? What bro. is that? Like I know what a scarecrow is, but in what way? You get broke up, bro. Crows oh. peck all over yeah, him. Yeah, he looks he looks scary. <laughs> he looks scary. Crows but once peck you, all over him. Yeah, he's he done. Looks, he looks scary, oh. but once you hit him a couple times, he really ain't shit. Nah, man, I don't. I don't. Made a glass. I don't feel like it's like that. I understand he gets hurt, but a lot of people do get it's hurt. It's always a lower limb for him, low key too. Well, for Jimmy, he is a winner, and um, thanks to Tom, for him to go somewhere <clears throat> and Belichick. I mean. Uh, a lot of people were. Who were they mentioning? I've seen uh, the Browns. So late they can, for that. Well, if they can, you know, take over for. Uh, they already nah, have like J- two, J- three backups, hey, J- bro. Jacoby Brissett got they that. They already <laughs> have two, three backups, bro. Jacoby Brissett got he, the yeah, backup job for sure, hey, man, bro. Jimmy Garoppolo is a lot better than Jacoby Brissett. He is better than Jacoby Brissett, but Jacoby Brissett Jacoby got Brissett's that. Jacoby more likable, and he's yeah, not going to miss fifty likeable. games Facts. to a toe injury. Facts. <laughs> yeah, imagine having him as a backup. <laughs> yeah, where Seattle? I mean, cool. You can go to Seattle. Yeah, you could go to Seattle. He might start over Drew Locke and then maybe. I don't Maybe know. the Vikings, but they seem pretty committed on Kirk Cousins' old ass. And okay, okay, well, okay. But they even have a backup for Kirk. I Cousins. would say who's the backup for Kirk? Some guy they drafted. I would bro. say that See, you guys are. Some guy they drafted I would say over, that you guys over Jimmy Garoppolo. I would say that you guys are not correct. great. Come on, that's why I'm if saying. If it was just a receiver or if it was another uh, position player, that's not as important as a QB. 
if it's a QB, I, I, I'm definitely making that risk, even though he is injury prone. Mm-hmm. If it's another, op, if, it, if it's another position, like no, uh, already do you not contribute in the same type of effect that a yeah. quarterback does? But now <laughs> I'm giving up like a lot of assets for like that. This. Maybe he could go to Houston. Ooh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Houston or um, no, I think Houston would be like or New Orleans. Houston or the Falcons, maybe. I'm sorry. There's no way they're committed on Marcus Mariota, bro. There's no, <laughs> there's no way. There's no way we're like fuck it. Marcus Mariota is but our nobody, quarterback. But nobody's no up, way. Nobody's picking up him unless they have uh, an actual team. To well, use. they got him and, and Desmond. Is it but Ritter Riddler? Who? The quarterback that they drafted from Cincinnati. Who are you referring to? The Falcons. To? Oh, I don't know. Desmond they, Ritter. Yeah, I think Riddler. they did draft a quarterback. They drafted him too. for quarter because they got yeah. Drake London and then the guy from Cincinnati. Yeah, because he was like a third round pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They but I mean, I'm won't. sorry. They but probably won't get There's you. no way they're all the. New there's Orleans. There's no way. Nah, Jameis got that, bro. You know that. You know he Back does. up, nigga. I'm not telling. Oh, back up. I don't up. think Jimmy G is going to be a starter again at Why this point, he? low key, bro. Yeah, he's competing for a starting spot. That's crazy. He's not coming off the bench. Fuck. Nah, he's he's Jimmy not coming off the bench. Hell no. Nah. I mean, if it's Drew Locke, he won't. But that's what I'm saying. Not all these teams is going to well, be that, I'm just for saying, him, like, who, if you're, you're the Falcons, right, who are you taking? You got Marcus Mariota, Jimmy Garoppolo. Who are you taking? Jimmy. The Falcons might take Mariota, though. They picked oh, that nigga up off the on. street. Stop They dancing. picked this nigga up off the street. Stop and dancing. Talking. Would you, I'm uh, not dancing. Stop dancing. What's a dance? I answered Bro, the question. Garoppolo, I said Mariota, nigga. Garoppolo, that's not a dance. Garoppolo has had more consecutive years playing than fucking Marcus Mariota. Both them niggas is Come really on. injury prone, bro. That's nah, the crazy they are, part. They are more injury prone, but who's played? Who's had You're more full. touches? I said they both are. You said that you want Marcus Mariota over Jimmy Garoppolo. I, didn't say I would. I said the Falcons. I don't speak for them. I, the Falcons don't speak for me. All right. So, so the the Panthers picked uh, Baker over Jimmy too. I mean, essentially, yeah. They I would take. So? I would take Baker. Over there was Jimmy. a lower they price for Jimmy. Baker. I take Baker. They, over they Jimmy picked Baker one. for sure. Yeah, for yeah, sure. It's definitely a lower price for yeah, Baker for too. For a sixth, yeah, I'll take Baker. Uh, no, not even regarding was the trade. Like the fifth or something no, like it's that? not even that. But like the money they have to pay Baker is like they only got to pay it's like that thirteen nigga, mil, like, right? No, they got to I think that's how much the Browns have to pay him. They only <laughs> got to pay him like a couple mil, bro. Oh for, yeah, why not? They only got to pay him a couple mil. Why They're not? paying Jimmy like twenty mil probably if mm-hmm. they get his ass mm-hmm. at least. Fred Warner, mm-hmm. at least twenty. Uh, on Trey Lance leading the Forty ers he's ready for it. He tired of that Jimmy G ass nigga. That's what that means. Yeah, I don't know. facts. Everybody's tired of Jimmy. Debo, Debo's, De- Debo's the face of it, but everybody feels that way. Yeah, well, for sure. So Debo says. So Debo doesn't want Jimmy on the team. Well, I think he doesn't want Jimmy on the team. Debo like doesn't want Jimmy He want that nigga Jimmy to stop being team. whack. No, yeah. he he does. He he knows that he's taking a lot of money out of out of his uh paycheck with Debo. Mm-hmm. So if they get rid of Jimmy, then he's, they're not paying Jimmy anymore. Mm-hmm. Jimmy's out the books. And then uh, of course they have Trey Lance on a rookie deal. And uh, guess what? It opens up some money for Debo. Yeah, Kittle so straight. He wants. <coughs> Kittle. He's straight already. Jeez. What that it, mean, bro? Have him stay on the field. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he played, I'm just saying, bro. George Kittle doesn't play a lot of games. He played the playoffs. He, play, he, he played, bro. He played at least nine games this year, bro. I can oh, say nine. that. Uh, okay, fine. Out of 17, all right. That's on fine. That's I'm always saying that because I don't know the exact number, but I, he played more than half the I, season. I would, I would agree that he probably played nine games, eight to nine, seven to nine games. I I agree with you there. I want to go back and look because, like I said, you George Kittle has some great – George Kittle has some good-ass fantasy games for me this <laughs> last <laughs> season. So – I'm a rock with George Kittle. He wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't bro, crazy great, here. but he was good. Definitely hey, always nah. good. He, he was, was good when he was on the field. Oh, and when Trey Lance was not about. playing. Well, Jimmy yeah. Garoppolo was a lot nah, better. There was some him. games where him and Debo Samuel were pretty nuts, bro. Mm. On to the Debo next on one, though. Back to the NBA here. Uh, James Wiseman finishes with a bro, solid can effort. can talk about somebody else? <laughs> Why? Um, who James? Who cares? He doesn't like the Warriors. Who it's not even that. Like, bro, you shut out a whole. They sent him home year, so many bro. times. Like, can we? Can we get him out of here, bro? Can we go somewhere else? Like they did on the Western Conference Finals. Talk about Western Westbrook. 
Russell Westbrook and his long time agent. I was just gonna split. say. Oh, that's how you feeling? Yeah, bro. Fuck, oh, okay. fuck him. Who cares? She no, I'm okay. dead ass, bro. Who cares? Who? Russell Westbrook and his long time agent uh, split over reconciled irreconcilable differences. Um, that says a lot about Russell Westbrook because that honestly means that. Russell Westbrook is very big-headed and arrogant to his own situation and doesn't realize that he's not that guy anymore. I mean, that's fair. Like, it, like realistically, bro, that shit's crazy because, I mean, like, after, after that shit happened, then I'm seeing it's basically two different sides to what they're thinking for Russell Westbrook's trade. His agent is saying that the agent is saying they're requesting a trade, but Russ is saying he didn't want a trade to be requested. So, I mean, that's probably one part of their differences and mm-hmm. whatnot. I mean, it's probably more, too, but, yeah. So, that off rip, mm-hmm. they're not even on the s- – bro is trying to get Russ up out of there, and that nigga Russ is like, no, I want to stay. But bro probably is fully aware that these niggas don't want you here. <laughs> and, and Russ doesn't care. That shit's sick. Yeah. I think you made a great point with uh with with them not saying with saying that they don't want Russ there because they don't. Yeah, They're like his his him. agent was probably fully aware that the t- franchise doesn't want him there anymore. Yeah, and his agent is probably was probably looking to get him somewhere else because of that, which makes sense looking out for his client. Yeah, but his client doesn't give a fuck and yeah, wants that's, to stay, and, and that's what and sucks. that's why it's like fuck, guys. Why did we do this? Well, that what makes him like, like fuck, guys. Why am I working with you? Because if I'm, I'm looking out for your bro, best interest, I feel interest like at Will the Smith the with day, the Laker hat. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is crazy. Oh, man, Will Smith with the Laker hat. That's hilarious. When I think about. I'm think like, about, who put a Laker hat on this nigga, bro? That shit was funny <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> when I think about uh, Russell Westbrook being on this team in the first place, I was just like, wow. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, this has a good amount of potential. Uh, <laughs> look at the look at the talent on there. Three potential MVPs, at least two M- former MVPs. I wasn't excited, but I didn't think we'd win 29 games. I didn't think that, yeah, <laughs> it would be terrible. 20, oh, you didn't think you'd win 29. No, like, we probably, I'm not saying the, like, I'm probably saying the exact number of games we run wrong. Mm-hmm. But again, I didn't think we would win that low amount of games. I thought we oh, would have been better. Oh, so, okay, yeah. okay, 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 got you, got you. What were you saying? Um, but I ultimately just want to point out that uh, I didn't expect this, and for it to end up again, a another rift. another rift in the NBA, some drama in the NBA. They're reconciling, coming back to each other, saying that they're gonna make it work. Then he's gone. Then they're bringing in Irving. Then they're uh, shopping into the Spurs. Shit, they're shopping guy. into the Nets. <laughs> uh, he, I think somebody was begging somebody else. Uh, to get traded, so I, I just don't know anything. I don't know when what's it comes going on with all these back the internal deals, stuff. Bro. Yeah, shit's like crazy as fuck, and shit's kind of quiet, but not quiet. They're like they're reporting things about well, other things from like, the teams that are, why are in they these out talks, in public? Why are but they not going talking about together? those things. Like acting like they there's nothing they wanna, going on because they want to see I it mean, happen. They got to do. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, it. like they can still do what they do in real life because like nothing's yeah. a, for them. Nothing's technically valid until like a call and a trade and a deal is actually done. So for them, it's still all speculation too. Just like we speculate like right now, bro. Well, so, I wonder how bad like it actually is with for them, the assumptions yeah. and. It must be and that. Are bad. they being super fake to each other right now? Yeah. Hey, bro. LeBron is a fucking gamesman, bro. That nigga, that nigga be a. Hey, LeBron will be the best teammate in the world till he ready to get your ass out of there. <laughs> you, no, you, you're, you'll no, be gone. You'll be gone before LeBron is a bad teammate no, to your ass, bro. You, you Straight are, up. You are, you are out of town on. before LeBron starts you being a bad teammate to you. Spot on right now. You're I think. Spot on. I think it's, uh, so yeah. I don't we know. See I, I don't like. Here. I don't like them being. We see Russ out here on the side and them trying to work together. 
That makes no sense. To I me. mean, it does make sense because it's it like it should be cut off. Look, now. it makes sense because like at the end of the day, we don't we for sure like we said, all this shit is still speculation. So if nothing happens, all right, we still got to ride with this nigga. And I mean, they they wrote they rolled with him last year, bro. To our demise, they rolled with the nigga. So they're I mean, they'll do it again if they have to. But I know. That's probably not what they want to do. And them niggas was shopping. They were shopping deals. They had Rob on the phone, bro. Fuck all that. All right. do Rob you think, Palenka, they had him on the phone. Do you think that they're going to rock with him the whole year? Or they're going to get to the trade deadline and be like, you know what? Fuck it. Give them them two first round picks. Get him out of here. <sighs> yeah, I mean, realistically, yeah. If, if they can't get an offseason trade done, I think by the time January, February comes... There's going to be more rumors again. Even yeah. if nothing happens, I think it'll be more rumors again still. Hey, so, I think it'll be rumors again still. The same way we seen James Harden get acquired in the middle of the season, we were saying, I don't know if this is going to do anything. I don't remember the last time it happened to where a big uh, acquisition was being made and they won it in the same year. Uh, hmm. But you brought up Pau Gasol. That, and, that's, and that was even definitely that good. was... They, Cause like I said, the first year with Pal, we trade, we got him in February, but we lost in the finals and won next year. Besides that, right, but even reaching the finals is still tough. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it is. I mean, I mean, let's say the the Heat, they went to the finals, but they well, lost. Yeah, well, so winning in the is, finals uh, is because. Uh, can we say when KD went to the war? Like, well, I don't even know I if we can say to... that because they were established as no, no, champions. Well, uh, that was a free agent acquisition. Oh, you're saying from trades, Like, in right? the middle of the trades. season. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. let's say, for example, you guys start off bad. They're like, okay, we're going to make a big transition. We're going to give up two picks, and we're going to get acquire Kyrie, yeah. i.e., I'm saying that type of player. Yeah. They get him. I don't think nothing's going to happen still. Because not not because of his talent, this and that. I think it's just not enough time. So many other variables that can go against them that it won't work out. And now they really mess up their chances. So they see yeah. they're like right now I or mean, never. That's fair. That's fair. Bro. Not now, but before the season starts, they gotta get rid of them. If they don't, they're staying with them, and it's always gonna be bad news. I hear you, bro. I can't like, I can't argue with. That Unless Anthony Davis is just insane again. I mean. Look, all right. See, that's the thing. Darvin Ham talking a big game. <laughs> There's a lot of upcoming players, though. That's Look, all I got to say. Darvin Ham talking a big game is still him. But, like, at the end of the day, niggas are still going to have to go out there and perform, too. Like, that's still going to mm-hmm. be on them, too. So, mm-hmm. again, if everything, if from top to bottom things go correctly, and like you said, Anthony Davis comes back and comes back and looks like his first year and, like, when he was actually – healthy and like doing playing is a full 100 percent, bro if we're able to play like that bro then we're we're dangerous like with those at least lebron and ad i can say that's dangerous as fuck yeah i don't know what i don't know what i'm getting from russ if he's still on the team i don't know what i'm getting from him mm-hmm. i think one, one more follow-up what i want to ask about that because like we didn't talk about who the lakers had signed over the offseason like Juan Toscano Anderson, Lonnie Walker, Damian Jones, Kendrick Nunn <clears> still there. Yeah. Uh, what what do you what do you expecting from the you get rid of the the retirement home roster and now yeah. you come back to dudes that are about twenty to twenty six. Yeah. What what are you expecting from the roster hike? Stanley Johnson, Wynn and Gable, yeah. they got picked up. Still what here. are you expecting from the roster hike? Well, I mean, I feel like off rip the defense has to be better than what it was last I think year, the bro. defense because they signed those guys I think the defense is going to be like a it little It has better. to be better bro yeah. there's no way we have a worse defensive team than what we had last year because for one these niggas are not going to be old as fuck and two like I said Anthony Davis being back if he's there that's the defensive anchor and I mean LeBron still can give niggas tips and pointers and input where it's necessary so like i feel like defensively we should be able to come together and realistically when we're when the lakers are a winning team we put our head on defense it's not like yeah that. it's not like we don't have offense because we still had showtime we still had kobe but niggas lock up yeah and that's that's still 
a calling card in the NBA. Yep. Even with all these high scoring offenses we've seen over the year, defense is still a calling card, bro. Well, well we've seen the Warriors, even this last one, when they're <laughs> always talking about yeah. offense, they're able to make yeah. Jason Tatum turn yeah, the ball over bro, a lot. Because well even how Brown. the Celtics defense, they had to, their defense was for real to even to, in, get to get there. Their defense was for real. So yeah. that's still a calling card, bro. Let's speak about another trade that might happen here. You have the Jazz's Donovan Mitchell. Oh yeah. yeah that's hey, hey Mike Danny, Cole. you smoking dick. <clears throat> oh no, yeah. Danny smoking dick. <laughs> Seven picks. He is Danny smoking look, dick. He is, but he isn't because Penises. You see, look, bro, we saw what he got for Rudy, so it's like he is, yeah, but he is shit. not at the same time. Yeah, five no names and twenty twenty to twenty seven round picks. You're st- okay, you're pissing it off right now, but when the trade first happened, we all were like that's still kind of a lot for Rudy Gobert. I think that's yes, still a lot was. for Rudy Gobert. Still a lot. Yes, I agree so with that. So if but he felt like he can get that for Rudy Gobert, and we all think of Donovan Mitchell higher than Rudy, yes. he's going to ask for more. He's not, in his mind, he's not smoking dicks. Seven is crazy, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seven <laughs> is crazy as fuck. I fuck who I, that nigga is serious. Seven is crazy. It's crazy. always crazy, but you have to start crazy, and then people. But start I feel like he's it making it that way to either a somebody's gonna actually do it, or he gets to keep Donovan, bro. Or he gets to I get I still have a high price, and even he'll still take five. But well, th- that's still and gonna that's be almost shit. him getting what he wants, though. Yeah, so that's like I'm saying, I'm saying nah, he's, but, he's uh, either uh, gonna uh, take, uh, nah, but, uh, he's still gonna get either a crazy deal, or he's gonna keep Donovan. So what's is he really smoking penises? He has the leverage. Well, because you look, he at got the, what they nah, want. But because you look at the AD trade, and AD was just three first. What the fuck is so special about Donovan that he has to have seven? Because the price went. I up. hear you. The price did go up, but I mean, if a There's team inflation be- in the look, NBA, this shit is crazy. It's inflation everywhere, dog. <laughs> but look, bro, a- it, AD actually delivered. So if a team feels like, hey, if we get Donovan and we feel like Donovan will deliver for us, they'll do it. But he's not. It's yeah, he's a championship. Gonna... That, that is, niggas, will, niggas will do anything for a championship. So they will do that if I they f- think he's that guy. I feel that, but Donovan's not going to deliver. Knicks will that be relevant. That is fair, and that is your— and, Who and gives a have, fuck about the Knicks? Nah, fuck, yeah, I don't care. I hope Who the Knicks— Who gives a the, fuck? I hope of all teams that— or in this race, the Knicks are not the successful team in the Donovan Mitchell race. I, I don't. Cool. I don't want to see it. I, I don't want to see. I rather. I rather him be on a real contender. But I think that they'll they be ain't cool. a contender. God damn it! That's what I said. The Knicks I said just I rather them be on a real contender. Yeah. RJ Barrett. Uh, no disrespect. <laughs> I like RJ Barrett. Bro, even R- <laughs> don't get me started on RJ. But man, um, nine points. <laughs> Seven rebounds. <laughs> bro, an executive went Fucking around. Fucking relax. Bro, an executive was like, bro, somebody asked the Knicks executive. No, uh, some a reporter, like, well, just somebody asked yeah. an executive, like, hey, what do you think about R.J. Barrett getting a max contract? And they was not just right like, now. that's the craziest yeah, thing that you would ever do right for now, R.J. Bro. Barrett. So, bro, if, uh, well, if we see, I know look, we see it. Look, uh, I think you some of that. It, you no, no, see no, no, it, no, 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 no. Some of that might have to do with some of his like um, off the court business and behavior like too, bro. I, I'm not saying I know anything. I'm saying, but because of that, they may have seen things or behavior to where it's like, we give this nigga money, this nigga might, you know, like it's it's certain things like that, bro. He might crash out. It's, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying I know something or I've seen anything myself, but it's like in like business, bro. Like you, you got th- that's an investment. They would be investing in this man. They have mm-hmm. to think about that shit, yeah. bro. It's a way they yeah, got to weigh options. He hasn't right. really improved. His three point shooting has been better. Uh, he still <laughs> hustles pretty well, yeah. but his body hasn't yeah, he really plays developed. Hard. Yeah. Um, I mean. It could I wouldn't be. say his body's developed. His, it's more so about his game. Because he, he has gonna, a good frame and good size for his position. He's long, it's but he need, like, but yeah. he's not really yeah size wise. But like yeah, he's he got to yeah. Get a little but more, it's just like dog yeah, that thirty point though. game you got in February. We need like ten more of those, and it's already April. Yeah, we, we there needs to be a sort of an alpha dog in him, uh, one that leads a team. Um, but overall, for me, uh, if I had to say. About Donovan, the prize tag, him going to the Knicks. Um, I wouldn't want to see him there because I would like to see him on a contender. If he gets onto the Knicks, that'd be Facts. a cool team to watch. The Heat, 
Um, but I seen something <clears> somewhere <throat> that they would have both two six one guards starting, which is yeah, Donovan Mitchell already have and Jalen Brown. J- well, they're both. It would Jalen. It would Jensen. be six three. It would be like six three, bro. Donovan's nah, not six one. Yeah, he is. <laughs> nah, one. no way, really. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. He's playing like that at six one. Crazy. He's shorter than Mike Conley, bro. Ask. Ask Google. No, nah, hey Google. Do- How tall is Donovan Mitchell? What the, the fuck? fuck? What the Whoa! fuck? Six feet one inches. Oh, what? Oh, he's six God. one. Dude, I thought he was six three for the longest. Yeah, I thought he bro, was like six one. Bro, he's six one hooping like that? Bro. That's crazy. No, no, no. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy as Damn, fuck. He's, he's six one doing really all that? Only, nah, if he's really only six one, that is. Six one. Bro, that's that's crazy, yeah. bro. That's crazy. If he's wow, six one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, yeah, the six Knicks should one? not be trying to get this nigga if he's 6'1". Yeah, though. that's too small of a backcourt. Fuck that. You got RJ already. Figure it out, bitch. Man. I, I, I get some real management. I don't think that. I think you're right, though, Steven, in the aspect that, hey, I, I get to keep Donovan Mitchell if I don't get my price tag. So that's yeah. how it's going to be. Uh, The market's going crazy just because of the Rudy Gobert trade. A lot in the beginning. And then you have DeJounte kind of confirming those price tags on Rudy because even DeJounte had a big price tag. So we'll see how his, this goes. I feel like his was more tag, worth it, bro. though. Yeah, I get you on that. Aspect. His was more worth it. I mean, his, I like DeJounte his more than I like Rudy. Yeah, they, they were bro, similar, they, but I, don't like I wouldn't. I'm just not a Rudy DeJounte, They yeah, gave up cool with that. five players for Rudy. Speak, are we are we addressing Minnesota or no? I was hoping to do that Wizard in a separate or, video. Uh, okay, we'll do that in a separate video then. I okay, ain't worried about them niggas, yeah, bro. I ain't but fuck y'all, Minnesota. Um, I guess that would be the <laughs> end of episode eighty-seven of the Sports You Podcast. A quick one today. Yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah damn. We don't. I mean, just, just like nothing keep, else. It's yeah. that time of the year, bro. Yeah, it's that time of the year. Unless y'all see. tapped in with the baseball, it's that time of the year. Yeah. All Star Weekend was this past weekend. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard it was kind of lit. It Juan was Soto good. went crazy. Juan Soto good. and his uh, he denied that ten year. 15 years. 15. I'm sorry. I'm not signing my life for 15 years. Bro. 15 Fuck that. years, $440 million. At least, not, nah, yeah. Give me more no. money than that, then. Yeah, I'm not signing yeah, my life 15 for 15 years. years you got to give me more money, bro. Yeah. And then, uh, I so need this like, is what happened. I need 800. Check this story out real quick. <laughs> I need 800 for 15. At least seven, 750. They, the, the management I need a record was number. so upset that, that he rejected the offer that they... Did not give him a private jet to get to the All Star Game weekend. He flew commercial, got there a little bit late, and won the home run derby. Yeah, I'm leaving. Wow, I'm ain't, leaving. ain't that that's a dope? <laughs> I'm leaving, that's a bro. Dope fuck. Hey, shout out Juan Soto. Yeah, bro. shout out for being a that's professional, hard. bro. That's shout out for welcome. being a real shout professional, bro. Soto, bro. I'm leaving this fucking team, bro. I'm out of Honestly. here. Bitch shout ass out Juan niggas, Soto, bro. bro. You yep. offer me pretty much half what you should be offering right me here. for 15 uh, years. Juan Soto flew commercial to 2022 MLB All-Star Game after declining Nats contract, agent says. Washington Nationals? Oh, yeah, he's out of there, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, the Nationals? That nigga's coming to the Dodgers. Telling you, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm playing, nah. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, he's probably going to like... So much money. You think the you think the bro, Padres 15 y- mm, He's like the best. They player. got money. <laughs> you think the Padres could do something, though? Fuck the Padres. Nobody wants to go with Padres. <laughs> and they got, a lot of, money. they got a lot of money in other players right now. That's true. Uh, Tatis, Machado, where, 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 other pitchers. Where is somewhere you'd like to see Juan Soto go? Give me three teams. You want to see him on Probably the Blue Yankees, Jays. Probably Yankees, the Dodgers, Yankees. or... The Blue Jays. Um, the Dodgers would be crazy, bro. Mm, the Diamondbacks. I think... Uh, who has good prospects? The Blue Jays? No. I already said that. Uh, I think did. they do have Tampa? good prospects, but they are actually using them. So nah, like Tyler Tampa Glass now? They don't care. I don't know who would who would uh third team. What if he be. went to the because Houston they have to Astros. Put, they have to pay a lot of money. No, nah, I don't yeah, think he, they're not going paying to the that much. Money. I don't think he would go there. I'm just. I don't saying. think nobody's no, I'm going saying like, to the Astros like that. Uh, I think the Astros Correa are kind of tied to the money. Isn't pay that much money? Yeah. They didn't pay that much money to Carlos. And they're dirt bags. The best cheaters in the history of the game. Fuck those guys, bro. Hey, it's sh- taken away. Sh- Take sh- that sh- World sh- Series. Shout out to Astros, Unanimous. Man. Fuck <laughs> them. Fuck the Rockets. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't do shit to you, you fucking Laker fan. We didn't True. do shit to you. You're right. You did. You took Russell Westbrook off our hands. Actually, Washington's hands. Don't blame this shit on me. Hey, shut up. We still beat you. So? Whose future, whose future is better? Mine. I don't know. It's debatable. <laughs> it's, we're still it's the Lakers. It's debatable. We're still the it's Lakers. It's debatable. We're still the Lakers, nigga. Come we're on. Still the, we're still the Lakers. We're, we're hoping LeBron doesn't leave us. <sighs> I don't know. Jabari Smith's not looking the best. It's summer league. I get it. Exactly. It's summer league. He should be looking good. Man, fuck that, nigga. We getting all stars out here. We getting big names and bitch. <laughs> you bitch. Oh, goodness. <laughs> all right, episode 87 in the books. Signing off here. Get then. Take us out. And as Bust down. always, drop me a Dom DeMarco real quick. You. Dom DeMarco. If you like this video, go ahead and shout out Bars. like button. Bust down those comments. You. Shout out to the subscribers. You. The Minnesota video will be coming very, very soon. Damn, probably yes, within bro. the next couple of weeks for sure. They don't we, even deserve all that, though. Gotta, we they gotta, do. Gotta, we got a bone to pick with y'all. But as always, if you like this video, <laughs> shout the like button, bust down those comments. And as always, support the you. Y'all have a good night, everybody. Good night, folks.